We'll start with the primary category and with the highly commended awards. So our first highly commended award is to Millie, Millie Copping James, who's 11. She's going to come up and read her poem. She is hungry, very. Slowly she devours the forest, turning fresh green to burning orange and red, leaves to ashes. She is a true daughter of destruction. When she is gone, the forest is quiet, its spirit quenched. Then slowly, a green bud shoots out of the soil. A new beginning. So Ian Gibbons is presenting the prizes to the winners today. Uh, he was one of the judges of the Saiku competition. So next I'd like to invite Tali Huxtable up to read her poem, also a highly commended. Um, I like helium, it makes you talk really weird and it blows up balloons. <laughs> And the third prize in the primary category is Jessica Freeman. Stars and meteors, so many planets aligned, making a sweet life. And second prize is Kai Goodman, and Kai's five, so he's going to come up with his mum. And Kai, would you like to read your poem, or would you like Tom to? You'd like Tom to, okay. Uh, this is Kai's poem. Experiments, what's inside your real body, swirling patterns. And now we're on to first prize in the primary category. Uh, Jake Deegan. Jake has come to us from the Northern Territory, so please wow. welcome him. <laughs> Tall green trees, they reach up high into the sky, water drizzling softly down. So, Jake, <laughs> our first prize winners today get to take home a Kindle, which is fabulous. So, they can read all they want, <laughs> all the science books they want. We'll move on now to our secondary category. Our second prize winner couldn't be with us today. Her name is Eliz Isabella Somerville, and so Tom will read out her poem again for us. Uh, Isabella's poem is entitled New Life. Fire dances from tree to tree. It leaves a blackened trail of destruction. A single seed pod cracks, green amongst black. And our first prize winner from the secondary category is Matthew Podgos Podgorski. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. <laughs> uh, so if you'd like to come up, Matthew, and read your poem. A miscalculated movement, a plume of bromine engulfs the classroom, the hubbub of fling feet, fire engines wail in the distance. So we're going to move on now to our final open category. We'll start with the highly commended. First, we have Rob Walker. Thank you. Uh, I wrote my poem about carbon, which has had a fair bit of bad press lately. But we shouldn't forget that it's also an important part of organic life. 
It's the shortest poem I've ever written. Carbon, black and soft as soot, or clear and diamond hard, you are the Lego of life. Thank you. We have another highly commended poem in the open category, Sam Malloy. It took me a while to understand osmosis. I've soaked it up now. <laughs> Great. Now we'll move on to the third prize winner in the open category. Uh, her name is Stephanie Garnbrill, but she can't be with us today. She's actually in New South Wales. So in her absence, Tom will read her poem. Stephanie's poem is, uh, is this. Known locations, momentum uncertain, love by distance. Now on to our second prize winner, Thomas Tu. Frenzied matter zoo, then Mendeleev's table, the world ranked and filed. And now our first prize winner in the open category, best of the best, uh, Lorinda Bailey. <laughs> A climate library, slowly documenting the seasons, ring by silent ring. Great, so thank you everyone who entered that competition. We had so many entries, it was really hard for us to pick the winners, but I think that you'll agree we chose quite well, <laughs> um, with some variations between the humorous to the, the quite serious. So, 